All right, I'm fixing to begin gluing top braces, and I want to glue the braces that will have no arch in them first. One of the biggest of those is the bridge plate, and this is just a little bit wider than that which is on the plans, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up here on this back line, it, it will make it just a little bit bigger. Whether we understand or not, the bridge plate is one of the largest braces on the sound hole and I'm just going to take a straight edge and connect those lines So what I want to do, I want to take this and I want to take a marking knife Try to be careful, I tremble a bit Last thing I want to do is cut myself. But I did that so that the saw would have a little bit of something to follow. This is a cross-cut carcass saw. I could do this with a fine rip-cut dovetail saw. I prefer this, and so we're going to use this. I've got it clamped down because what I want, I want this wood underneath it. I don't want any tear out of the fibers in this bridge plate. It doesn't want to hold still uh, because I've only got the one clamp on it, but that's all right. It'll, it'll work. Let me see if that helps in. Yeah. And that's what we want. Is a really clean clean cut. I'm going to set this like that. So that I can come at it. Actually, about to put a hex on the whole thing. And I actually could take this knife and continue to cut and probably cut straight through that with that knife, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do this. Alright, I'm using, I have a shelf up top here in my desk inside 
or in my bench rather, inside my home. I've got the X braces basically clamped down so that I get, they're not going to be glued yet, but I want to get them situated where I can situate the rest of the braces. We're going to do the bridge plate first. I'm running out of glue. I need to pick some more up. I just haven't done it. It's probably way more glue than I need, but that's all right. want like a really smooth even layer. All right, so that's a nice even layer. And I'm going to set that and situate it right there against the bridge, against the uh, X brace and to try to spread the forces a bit on this glue up. I'm going to go like that. Okay. I don't want it slipping. Okay. And I don't need like a super massive amount of pressure. I just need enough. Fine. I just need enough. I really need me like a I really need to go by that and some radius dishes and stuff like that, but yeah, that's not going to happen. These are like little secondary tone bars. Uh, a lot of designs only have one of them. Uh, they kind of support the sides a bit. Um, and they're supposed to have an effect on tone. I do not know if they actually do or if they do how much as I continue to build I hopefully will start to understand a bit more about what does what. Some of it I kind of understand. Excuse me, I don't have very much glue left in this. There we go. But anyway. I'm gonna place this. I've trimmed them to the angle of this, these X braces, and what I want to do, I want to sort of let them sit a minute because uh, I don't want them to move too much. When I go to clamp them down, so I'm gonna woohoo.
Wow. I seriously need to get me some more glue. Ha. <laughs> I have to do that today. But, uh, yeah. Want to kind of sit that there. This one, yeah, that's where it's supposed to be. All right. Let me get up. I need to clean off my hands. And what I'm going to do, I really want like a go bar deck to do this with, but I really don't have... I really need like a, a 28 foot radius radius dish. I really don't need one for the back because the back has only got four braces on it basically. But I do, I could use a 28 foot radius dish for the top. It would make stuff like this simpler. But I have basically a block of wood that is going to create like a wide call and spread out the pressure of the clamps <coughs> or of the go bars hopefully that's what will happen honestly you don't really need a boatload of pressure to glue things anyway um, you can crank it down if you want to but it's not really necessary. I want that more toward the, the center.
All right, this is the X braces in clamps. The X braces are arched braces. I have calls, basically anything flexible I could find that would span that gap underneath the face of the guitar so that I could clamp to it and not mar the underneath the face of the guitar, but also that I could get pressure along the arch that's on the bottom of these braces. All along the top you can see I got good glue squeeze out all along so I think I'm good. The only thing I'm a bit nervous about is that this is cedar and it's really soft and these actual calls might imprint the top. I hope that they do not but I have to clamp this down if I don't then I don't have a guitar so and this will set in the clamps overnight upper transverse brace and the first tone bar glued up here tone bar here upper transverse brace there and here's the top with all the braces glued on. I have some cleats here. Uh, Campiano mentions doing this in his book. I think he only uses like three. Um, but my shop is not humidity controlled in any kind of way and it, the outside portion of it cannot be. And so I just put these on here as kind of like a a bit of insurance against the possibility of the top splitting because of humidity issues because it was not glued in a controlled environment. Um, they won't make a dime's worth of difference to the sound. I have put enough cleats in guitars repairing them to know that they won't. Uh, I'm going to, uh, when I shake the braces, I will remove a lot of wood off of here too and make it lighter than what it is, all looks now. This is all uncarved and once I carve it, carving the braces will remove weight from the top and allow it to flex and these will be included in the carving. So top braces are done. 